Elise and I are just talking about the luxuries that you can and can't afford if you live on a dollar fifty a day. Elise uh, has given up smoking for the five days. We've sort of basically given up caffeine as well. But it's interesting because in a lot of um, cases in Build Africa's um, experience in rural Kenya and Uganda, when women run the household finances, they are very, very likely to put all of the money that they earn into the welfare of their family. Mm -hmm. But when men have control of the finances, uh, which is typical in the mm -hmm. patriarchal societies, yeah, um, they will put some money towards the family and go and spend the rest for themselves, for themselves on booze and women and stuff like that. And so when women have more empowerment and more control over their lives and their livelihoods, mm -hmm. it's better for all of the family um, and the community at large. So I guess what we're trying to say is girl power. We can do this. Yeah. Even just here in our lovely, um, in our lovely town, you know, with the running water and all these mod cons, even here it's tough to live below the line. But can you imagine? To live below the line in Africa. Yeah, or well, somewhere where to get fresh water, drinkable water, you have, you have to, to walk. walk like five miles. Yeah. With a jerry can and fill it up. That is And then you have to use only a limited amount of water because you only have that mm. amount of water for the week and so you have to measure it out mm. per day. And it takes hours to walk there and back as well to the to the pump or yeah. wherever you get the water yeah. from. And even so, if there was a drought or uh, if something got into the water supply, you'd be really in trouble. I mean, water is a luxury. It is.